Some respondents who commented on the current crisis in Edo State are of the opinion that at this stage, the then military governor of the defunct Midwest State and elder statesman, General Samuel Osaibovo Ugbemudia, retired, who gave out the property, should have spoken up and not keep silent on the matter, as his statement can douse the tension and bring about peace. I see some conspiracy theory and comedy of errors. I would have expected at this instance that Dr. S. O. Bumudia, who gave his properties to Unibe and a founder of the University of Benin, is alive, ill, and healthy, and was even went to court to testify during these uh, court uh, processes, should have come out by this time to speak. This that is happening with the University of Benin and the state government, every one of us have to learn from it. We should not do things in a hurry. Rather, we should caution. Other respondents, who include Chairman Nigerian Bar Association Benin Branch, Princess Priscilla Iyomo, expressing their views on the matter, said, as long as the stay of execution notice was served, it was wrong for the state government to carry out the demolition. From our own point of view, from what we have seen, the position of the bar is that once there is an application, a motion. If a mother is properly or improperly said, that will not become an issue for the court to decide. But once there is a motion at all, all actions must be stayed. It doesn't sound well. The VC has just finished a good job in the University of Benin, no matter what happened, no matter what the court has uh, done, they should be able to use their own mind to look for a, a better way to quit them from that place. Meanwhile, efforts to obtain comment from the former military governor of the defunct Midwest State, General Osaibovo Ugbemuria, were unsuccessful as the elder statesman was said to be on a trip outside the state. Pius Nsogo reporting.